is The Chris Abraham Show. Hi there, this is Chris Cast, episode uh, 18. It is season 5, and this is Chris Abraham, Chris Cast. It is just a few hours after my last episode, but I wanted to go into more detail with regards to what I was talking about, about um, saving, saving pagan babies. So, all everybody talks about these days is colonialism, imperialism, and settlers and the idea of um, colonizing colonists and uh, oppressive um, expansionism and the Christo-fascism that resulted in the killing of indigenous peoples around the world uh, at the tip of the spear as a result of um, the propaganda known as even evangelism so on that note I don't understand why the same people that are completely anti-imperialism completely anti-white supremacy, completely um, anti-exportation of Christianity and of white culture and of white capitalism and of white religion and so forth, do not see the extreme, and and, things like, exactly things like the Inquisition and um, the uh, Knights Templar doing their... um, various and sundry Christian crusades against uh, Islam and all that other kind of fun stuff uh, over the course of the last 2,000 years. I don't know why any all y'all don't see that it is completely the same, uh, completely the same playbook as is the exportation of democracy. Uh, You might not feel that way because Christianity is bad and civil rights and civil justice and um, uh, freedom to be woman and gay and trans is holy and Christianity and Western culture is unholy. But if you think about it for one second, maybe back when my mom was a girl, back in the 50s and 60s, she donated money to help uh, convert pagan babies and civilize them and give them access to learning and education and medicine and teaching and housing and give them Jesus and give them Catholicism and give them um, a longer lifespan and give them democracy and give them market economies and bring them up to speed with the modern world. Now, Every enemy of the state right now is a country that doesn't want to accept Jesus into their hearts. And by Jesus, I mean the exportation of democracy. And by democracy, I mean liberal democracy. And by liberal democracy, I believe that I'm talking about something that not even the USA uh, follows religiously, if you will. It is the same kind of uh, limited... Um, you know, do what I say, not what I do, uh, kind of um, hyperbole that is exactly the kind of things that the, uh, that the peoples who, you know, converted California to Catholicism, uh, the parishioners, the monks, the priests, the, um, the invaders, they all in their hearts wanted to um, of course, you know, um, make money and make trade and so forth. But at the end of the day, what they said they were doing and the reason why they were able to um, collect so much money in alms 
is because they were trying to save pagan babies. Now, one of the reasons why we're said that we hate uh, Russia and we hate Hungary and that we maybe at some point will hate China and the reason why we probably are possibly going to hate other places that are... No, we'll never hate anybody who isn't... who doesn't look like uh, a former colonialist. But, um, you know, whenever we go anywhere and we see peoples who are not able to be... to accept democracy, liberal democracy, as in... Um, and, you know, I'm for these things too. I just don't want people to not see the hypocrisy going on here that the exportation of civil rights and civil justice and social justice at the tip of a drone or a spear tip is the same thing as exporting Jesus through the tip of a spear tip. They don't know any better they're crude, they're misogynistic, they're um, transphobe, they're homophobe, they're, they're, um, uh, they're I don't know, uh, behind the times, they're anti-democratic, they're despotic, they're tyrannical, they're uh, all the other things. And if you can't see that the same language that's being used to export democracy to Russia or to Ukraine or to Hungary or to any place, especially Afghanistan, and especially Afghanistan, because at the end of the day, towards the end, before we pulled out, all we ever heard was the only reason we're in Afghanistan is to allow oppressed Islamic girls to get jobs, get a proper education, go to university, and run the government. Now, that is, in many ways, the exportation of a religion of sort. And that religion of sort is, by any other name, is good for the people trying to export it. You know, it wasn't that everybody hated Christianity when Christianity was being exported at the tip of a of a sword, tip of a, of a spear. They were, you know, either loving on Jesus because they were um, Jesus freaks anyway, or they, you know, um, they uh, adopted Jesus into their life because along with Jesus would come a lot of benefits, you know, would come with education and come with all those other things. In many cases, right, like the exportation of democracy uh, Western democracy, the civil rights of of, um, of uh, transphilia and homophilia and democracy philia and all these other philias are a kind of exportation of a religious fervor. It is hearts and minds, but it's also spirits. And if you say to yourself, but no, but human rights are good rights, well, like I said, a uh, hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, five hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, um, the exportation of, of of Muhammad and Islam was the good thing to do. The exportation of Catholicism, then the exportation of um, of whatever you know, it is all done. <clears throat> it's never done knowing that we're doing something evil. So. That's fine. If you prefer a humorous, sorry, humanist concept of a an exportation of a mandatory exporta uh, exploitation and exportation of a certain type of of belief, um, and if you do not accept that re belief, you are anti-democratic. You're an enemy of the state. You are anti-science. You're anti-humanist. You are Christo-fascist, you are um, anachronistic, you are troglodyte, you are um, uh, a monster, an autocrat, and so forth. That's the same kind of thing that the Inquisition was about. And the Inquisition was, uh, we'll beat you until you believe in Jesus, or we'll beat you until you accept Jesus, or we'll beat you 
uh, until you convert to, to Christianity. And uh, that is what hap is happening with the exportation of democracy. If you do not accept liberal democracy, at the very best, there will be a regime change, and you'll have to accept it. At the worst, you'll be bombed and destroyed and attacked and invaded. There will be bases put on your on your land, and you, as uh, to pay for your sins, you will be extremely exploited for all your natural resources, your art. Will, will destroy a lot of your libraries, will try to erase your culture, uh, will um, uh, shame and humiliate you for based on your uh, cultural belief. And um, we will re that will result in an amazing diaspora that will uh, undermine your cultural integrity for the next thousand years. So that's fine if you don't believe me, but the exact same playbook that was being used uh, back in the days of um, of uh, Spanish imperialism, Portuguese imperialism, French imperialism, German imperialism, British imperialism, and even American imperialism in the early days. Um, and, you know, that's how Mormonism worked. Latter-day Saints, they went around the world spending money on conversions. The Catholics spend money on conversions. Um, if you can't see it, it's because you're being willfully blind or because you believe that what... You believe the cult that we're offering now, the cult of science, the cult of rationality, the cult of uh, humanity, the cult of humanism, the cult of atheism, the cult of science, the cult of future... Uh, the cult of environmentalism, um, the cult of, of uh, transactivism, the cult of ecological climate change activism, the, uh, that cult, even the cult of Marxism, the cult of Maoism, the cult of anti-capitalism, the cult of anti-fascism. If you think that those are things that are worthy of exportation, then that's your opinion. But back in the day, the opinion was that um, poor little pagan babies were going to hell because they just didn't have the opportunity to know the, the name of Jesus and to accept him into their lives. So, amen, 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 alleluia, uh, St. Fauci, St. Gates, uh, and um, happy pride. I mean, hell, I wouldn't mind an entire world where everybody was allowed to let their flag fly. I just don't think that anybody should be uh, directly um, regressed or repressed or oppressed or thrown into a gulag in a re-education camp so as to make that happen. Maybe I'm um, painfully and proudly extremist free speech and extremist libertarian, but that's how I say it. Um, and on that note, I love you, and I'm sorry about the background noise, but I like the spiciness of the alarms, and I like the spiciness of the kids, and I need to get this nervous energy out of me before I get back to work. I'm working until 8.30 tonight, and it is 1.30 now, so I have another eight hours to work seven hours to work, um, and you have a good day. Ciao. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.